Okay, I'm going to do another Zoomy video. Today I'm doing outside the lessons. There were there was a video that um, RoboLink, the creators of Zoomy, uh, put on YouTube a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, uh, about social distancing. Um, I'm calling it obstacles, obstacle avoidance. I basically opened code within the Zoomy uh, dashboard AI, um, which I'll show you here. So basically this is code mode. And then I did new notebook, created one called obstacles, and then put the information that they had in it. I think they might've done 10,000 instead of a thousand. This is a, a, a for loop for I in range. Um, it's a for loop. Um, I don't understand everything that they've got going on here, but these are sensors to determine like when you've got your hand uh, Zumi has detection of uh, distance, proximity. Um, doesn't have to be your hand, any object's proximity. This is going to be useful for when um, I do the vector, vectors. The, right now we're not going to do those because we're, we're not to that point yet. I also still need to get the uh, wall around. Anyway, so we're going to run this program and show Zumi uh, doing obstacle avoidance and I cut it down to 0.25 distance um, Because I don't want zoomy to go too far earlier. I, I ran it too many times and zoomy started having some faults uh, like keyboard Interrupt faults and stuff and I, I she kept going and I couldn't get her to stop. So we're, we're just going to stick with a thousand and a 0.25 For for this routine. So we're going to do run and we import the zoomy library there so we do run, it's gonna do that. And then we're gonna use this to show when Zumi sees something and she's gonna move. And there, she already ran through the routine. But you can see there basically she's detecting and she's uh, detecting when it happens. So we're gonna run it again, just for a second. Oops, I wasn't within that code block. That's why it didn't run. Get rid of this one. This is how you delete. Delete. Now we're within the code block we wanna be in. Do another run routine. Okay, she started. I need to get the plastic down a little better. Ferdy's like, I'll help. I'll help move Zoomy. All right, so it's not a not a lot this time. I definitely need to get this. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do to fix this is I'm gonna pull it to the sides and then because I didn't put any tape here, I'm gonna pull it as hard as I can and then just put some tape, like little little pieces and points to get it. I should have just spent the money to buy the, the expensive vinyl, like it was six thick, but this was only like 20 bucks <laughs> versus that one was as much as the Zoomy Town mat cost. And it seemed crazy to spend that. Anyway, but I am gonna fix this so that Zoomy doesn't have problems going forward and backwards, forwards and backwards. Anyway, take care. Look at the golden eye cat. So yeah, Zoomy obstacle avoidance. Uh, or social distancing, as they said on the... Hey, now, Ferdy, Ferdy. See, this is why I've got that, because I don't want uh, the cats to uh, harm, harm it. Uh, Zoomy's map that's underneath. Okay, take care. And if you want a quick look at the code again, the code is within the um, main rectangle. And uh, these are the IR sensors. Okay, next, next week, hopefully, we'll be doing another one of the, the uh, coding lessons. Bye-bye.